hold on a minute. I'll be talking to Boy George later when he's got his breath back. Now then. <laughs> Well, no, we sold a million records today. Yes, Barry. Barry? <laughs> Which Barry are you referring to? Barry Humphreys, aren't you? No, I asked Barry Humphreys. <laughs> oh. She knows Barry Humphreys because she comes from Australia. Sure. Oh, good. So it's Barry. Have you no, been I'm to joking. Australia? No, I haven't been to Australia yet. It's too far. I can't fly. How would they welcome here in Australia? Uh, we're massive I in Australia. Think love it. Before yeah, you answer definitely. that, we're massive in Australia. Any this is a present. At all. What's that oh, for? Isn't that beer? It's a teapot it's for a me. Pop. It's the first teapot. Uh, thank you very, <laughs> thank you very kindly. I love it. <laughs> What's, there's a kind of, is that a chamber pot? That's then? to put a candle in, to heat the tea up when you're in bed. You know. I read in the paper. I read in the paper last week that you'd, you'd rather go to bed with a pot of tea than anything else. No, not with a pot of tea. <laughs> Have a pot of tea. Have a pot of tea instead of going to bed. Right, that's it. <laughs> now I also saw the other night on television, George, a very interesting account of your own mother and father talking mm. about you. Did you see that? I did see it. Yes. And I thought they were rather together people. Mm. They got their own PR now. Have they? Sachi and Sachi. <laughs> <laughs> to, to improve their image. Yes. Because there's so many people want to speak to them now because it. They find it so bizarre that my parents should actually, uh, yeah, should actually want a son like me. <laughs> now, there's a picture I of your dad and Yeah. Picture of the dad and then yeah. uh, Carl. The, 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 George is the one on the right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And that's dad, yes. What troubles have they had with you, George? None at all. That's the whole thing, you see. People expect problems. Mm, yeah. But, you know, my, my home, my life has nothing to do with theirs, really. You know, they just treat me as a son in the way that I treat them as a parent. It's, it's not something they think about, you know. I mean, I'm sure, you know, people don't care. I mean, my parents don't care. I'm sure you wouldn't care what your children were like. I hope not, anyway. No, but I mean, there is a certain <laughs> okay. amount of exotica around you. You are, you do, you do present rather a vivid image. I you? don't well, think so. I think it's very normal. Very I'm an entertainer. You see, I'm an entertainer. I'm an old-fashioned entertainer. Right. I'm not like the, uh, the normal kind of jeans and t-shirt brigade. Right. I mean, I believe in giving value for money, and I think that it's time now with video and with, with music generally, that people started dressing up. And I look great. I do it very well. Yes, And yes, uh, yes. that's the reason I do it. I mean, I... I you have a wonderful skin. Yeah. <laughs> wonderful, right. wonderful. That so really this, this shows a, a quagmire of comments and uh, compliments. Compliments. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, what do you look like in the morning? OK. What do you look like in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> OK, most people look OK in the morning. And how long does it take you to apply your makeup? Uh, about 20 minutes. But Seriously? I've, yeah, I've been doing it for about seven years now. I'm an old timer, really. Right. How long does it take to put yours on? <laughs> <laughs> longer. <laughs> longer. <laughs> he is definitely wearing makeup. I once, I once, I once said to Frankie Howard, uh, he, Frankie Howard said, You look terrible. I said, well, I haven't got any makeup on tonight. And he said, Why not try a one way ticket to the Lord? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I he love it. He should have said, I'll use makeup, you use scaffolding. <laughs> More polish for that. Now, listen, Karma Chameleon is, is a sensation piece, as we just pointed mm -hmm. out. Do you ever, when you're starting to compose as a writer, have a smell of success about it? Could you forecast something, or do you know what ingredients it needs? Well, when we started this band, um, I mean, everybody said give up, you know, and everybody constantly told me that, you know, I was great yeah. as a personality and not as a singer. Everybody talks about great singers, but they talk about George as, as a clown, as boy George as a clown. Mm -hmm. I mean, I am a singer, and I don't think about the, the product as commercial. I write everything purely on a personal basis. I mean, the songs are, are egotistical in the sense that I write about the way I feel, about the people I love, mm. about the feelings I have. I don't write with a commercial feeling. So feelings. they're all first-hand it's, it's all luck, believe me. It's all yeah. chance, prayers, sleepless nights. It's all luck. You cannot write the perfect pop record. You just hope. Really, and you were you know. saying that it's an old tradition. Is it an older tradition? Well, well Karma Chameleon is, is an old-fashioned song in the sense that it, it, it's like a campfire song. It's, it's for everybody. Mm. It's, it's a song that you can sing along to. It's a very high-spirited song, which is what pop music is all about. It's yeah. about naivety and it's about excitement and I feel that's what we do. I'm hopefully. quite interested in the, because since I, it's risen into the charts, it does mm. actually get itself like a little weevil into your head. Yeah. You find yourself yeah. actually humming. It's a subliminal tune, yeah. It isn't, it isn't. <laughs> Have you got anybody to look after your interests? Like... <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? The I'm, I'm saying that you're riding high at the moment. Yeah. You're going up like that at the moment. We've read many, many stories. Oh, no, that's, that's 1970s. That's when, um, that's when people... I mean, I'm not a pop star in the sense that I don't 
have a house where the bed falls out of the ceiling and I don't have a jacuzzi with <laughs> a <the> video <laughs> screen. I mean, I... I like look, their house, you mean? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but they're, yeah, but they're allowed to do Our that because they're from the people, floor. you see. I'm, I'm a pop star and it's very old-fashioned to be like that. Is it? Yes, so what is yes. it, what do you have? What's a new fashion then? Well, it's just to be really, try to be down to earth. I mean, a lot more bands now have a bigger business mentality than they did in the 70s. I mean, remember, I do this because I feel it and not because somebody's told me that if I don't stop looking like a hippie, I'll make lots of money. Right. I mean, I do it because I love dressing up. And you do it enormously successfully. I'm very <laughs> pleased to have you here tonight. Boy, George. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even speak. I can't have that <laughs> the judges have taken into account all the preliminary heats and our ladies' performance tonight, and they've come up with the 1983 Wonder Wife and the prime.